COVID-19. The numbers are growing and new fears in Illinois that it is about to get much worse. We have a team of reporters tracking the possible surge. Let's begin with Stephen Graves in Naperville. Stephen, surge or not, you uncovered an event that's raising a lot of eyebrows. Yeah, Brad, Erica, imagine hundreds of people on a football field for a showcase, barely any mask or social distancing. The organizer and coach today saying it was worth it, though, for the sanity of his players and their futures. Video on social media shows a fun time. High school and middle school students packing a football field at Commissioner's Park in Naperville for drills. An okay sight if it weren't for the COVID-19 pandemic and community complaints that followed. There wasn't at one point where you said this might be wrong. For me, my, my son just got off his treatments for leukemia. So if anyone's going to be concerned, it's me. Midwest Boom General Manager J.R. Niklos put on what he calls the safe showcase for players and recruiters last weekend. He wanted to do it before August 15th when state restrictions go into effect, banning football games at schools until spring. So we've had to keep kids just motivated. They want to quit school. They want to quit sports. Niklo says each player had their temperature taken and hand sanitized. They were kept in pods or appropriately sized groups for drills. Spectators were outside gates. He says this video shows a moment when two groups accidentally merged. Right at the end, kids were just excited to come together again. And that's where a lot of these videos came out. The last 10 minutes of our, our four hour event. But we checked the Naperville Park District website. It clearly lists strict social distancing rules for sports under the governor's phase four plan. One's a worker says this camp broke. When I see that football video, I'm irate. Dr. Emily Landon with the University of Chicago is especially worried. She says summer has proven more COVID-19 cases in kids. There's no reason why we can't help or find ways for kids to print to participate in lots of different sports, but not the way they're doing it in that video. It was safer just to, to not do it, but to keep these kids motivated and keep them going, and it was worth it. And Niklo says that this event will not be happening again, but for the most part, he's gotten positive reaction from parents and players. Meanwhile, the DuPage County Health Department saw these videos as well. It is urging anyone who attended to get tested. Well, Stephen, if the Park District is saying this was against the rules, how was it even allowed to happen in the first place? Yeah, I was curious about that. So I asked them, they said when this group applied for this in the spring and rented the field that it was uh, considered and looked after those guidelines were in place and it followed those guidelines. But of course, like you saw there, things got out of hand. But when state guidelines get stricter for sports, Football will only be able to hold trainings and no contact there. The park district saying it does have jurisdiction to shut things down if they get out of hand, Erica. All right, Stephen Graves, live for us. Thank you.